Sketch the graph and determine the domain and range. Here we're given an exponential function. So to graph this, we'll use our transformations. Let's first identify the basic graph. And in this case, we'll use y equals e to the x. Next, we need to identify the transformations. And I see here we have e to the negative x. e to the negative x is a reflection of e to the x about the y-axis. And then finally, we notice we have here a plus 2. That corresponds to a vertical translation up two units. Once we identify the basic graph and the transformations, we're ready to sketch the graph of the function here, f. And so starting with the basic graph, y equals e to the x, let's first reflect that about the y-axis. And so doing that, we get something like this, which represents y equals e to the negative x. Now we'll take this graph and shift this, including the asymptote here at y equals 0, we'll shift that up two units. And so here we could see a rough sketch of f. And we'll use this function, we'll use this graph, actually, to determine the domain and range. Now, the domain is the set of all x values for which this function is defined. And we can see that is all real numbers. Or in interval notation, we can write from negative infinity to infinity. Now the range is the set of y values for which f is defined. And the range here looks like it's bounded non-inclusively by 2. And all y values greater than that will be in the domain, as I've shaded here. Writing that set in interval notation, we can write 2 to infinity. And that's the range. And there we have it, a rough sketch of f of x and the domain and range.